വെൽക്കം ടു നിഷ് ന്യൂസ് വീക്ക്ലി ബ്രോഡ്കാസ്റ്റ് റീജിയണൽ ന്യൂസ് കേരള ചീഫ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ പിണറായി വിജയൻ ഇനോഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ദ വീക്ക് ലോങ് കൾച്ചറൽ ഫെസ്റ്റ് കേരളീയം അറ്റ് ദ സെൻട്രൽ സ്റ്റേഡിയം ഇൻ ട്രിവാൻഡ്രം ബിസൈസ് ദ ചീഫ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ ആൻഡ് കേരള ക്യാബിനറ്റ് മിനിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ദ ഇവൻറ്റ് വാസ് അറ്റൻഡ് ബൈ ബിസിനസ് ടൈക്കൂൺസ് യൂസഫ് അലി രവി പിള്ളൈ ആൻഡ് സെലിബ്രിറ്റീസ് കമൽ ഹാസൻ മമ്മൂട്ടി മോഹൻലാൽ ശോഭന ആൻഡ് മഞ്ജു വാര്യർ A tight security blanket involving over a thousand police officers has been put in place for the Kerliam festival. The entire festival area comprising 40 venues have been divided into four security zones by the Thiruvananthapuram city police with the force entrusted with maintenance of law and order. The force includes over 250 women police officers and over 400 special police officers. Traffic restrictions are imposed along the stretch from Kaudia to East Fort from 6 p.m. to 1 p.m. on all days during the course of the festival. KSRTC Swift would ply 20 electric buses to ferry visitors free of charge across the festival venues. The Kerala government has released the draft Information Technology Policy 2023 proposing several incentives to spur growth in the sector, promote private IT parks and to transform the state into an inclusive knowledge society. The policy sets a target for the state to garner 10% of the IT and electronics industry market share of the country in the next 5 years and to make a push in the space industry sector with a specialized park. A bus strike called by a joint panel of private bus operators in the state hit normal life. Bus owners called the strike to press their demands, including revision of the student concession. Around 7,500 buses were off the road. Normal life was badly hit in North and Central Kerala, where the people depend heavily on private buses for their transportation, while the impact of the strike was minimal in South Kerala, where the majority of the bus services are operated by KSRTC. Over to national news. The National Medical Commission, NMC, the regulatory body for medical education and medical professionals, is all set to launch its One Nation, One Registration platform for doctors across the country to eliminate duplication and red tape and allow the public to access information on any physician working in India. The doctors will be allotted a unique identification number and they can apply for their license to work in any state depending on where they are
over to international news. U.S. President Joe Biden signed an executive order to enable wide-ranging regulation of artificial intelligence AI. Biden's order comes days before UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's AI Safety Summit as countries race to keep up with rapidly evolving AI technology. The companies developing AI systems will be required to notify the U.S. federal government of technologies that have implications for U.S. national security or national public health and share results of some safety tests. Chinese research vessel Xi'an 6, which arrived in Colombo the previous week amid concerns raised by India and the U.S., began its two-day research off the Sri Lankan coast on October 30, according to the Sri Lankan authorities. The research will be pursued off Sri Lanka's western coast and in collaboration with Sri Lanka's National Aquatic Resources Research and Development Agency, NARA, and the University of Ruhuna. Both India and the U.S. raised concern over the vessel's visit as the two countries had done in the past around earlier visits of Chinese vessels. Over to sports news. Red Bull's triple world champion Max Verstappen made Formula One history as the first driver to take 16 victories in a season when he won a crash halted and action packed Mexico City Grand Prix. The 26 year old Dutch also equaled French great Alain Prost's Hall of 51 career wins with his fifth win in six editions of the Mexican race. With this news, we come to the end of Nish News Weekly broadcast. I am Aditya Kumar, assistant ISL t-shirt Nish, signing the news for you along with Ms. Sylvie Maxi Mena, Nish faculty. See you again next week. Thank you.